Oh, that's pretty good. You know, got some time off. What'd you do? Uh, went to a beach, sat on the beach for a while, hung out, got my mind off some stuff, and now I'm back here. Um, I wouldn't say there's anything necessarily I'm seeing more of. I think, you know, I'm getting a better understanding of what I'm, you know, asked to asked to do. And um, I'm getting more of a feel for the offense and, you know, why things are happening instead of just trying to, you know, do my job. So, you know, just getting more comfortable. You know, the guys around me give me a lot of confidence. They have a lot of belief in me. And so, you know, I live up, try to live up to my own expectations and um, try to do it that way. But I wouldn't say I learned, you know, any certain technique or anything more, just because there's a buy, I feel like I've just kind of kept going that way. Yeah, I guess I was going back to camp a little bit, but now that you've had so much time at guard, did those first couple of weeks of tackle push you back in some way from maybe where you thought you might be able to be at guard? Uh, at the time, I thought I was playing tackle, so you know, I was just trying to you know, do my job there and um, you know, do it to the best of my ability. I wouldn't say it set me back any. You know, it's the NFL. You got to be able to adjust to anything. So, um, you know, whether that be playing tackle or playing guard, you know, I try to do it at the highest level I possibly can and um, be able to adjust off of it. So. Uh, yeah, I just think because obviously it's a different position, but also mm -hmm. when you look at the side. When, you know, so many guys say that. You know, they yeah, it's from right side to left side is so much harder than any of us would ever understand. Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, but you know, that's why we get paid and you know, you gotta be able to adjust and you know, there's gonna be diff difficult situations and you know, at the end of the day, you either can do your job or you can't. And so, you know, I try every day to get better at what I'm supposed to do and um, whether that be playing tackle or guard, you know, I just try to do it at a high level. Now that you're gonna stay there, you're gonna get Uh, no, I'll probably get yelled at probably at the end of the day um, for doing something wrong. But, you know, I am, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit of confidence and, you know, more understanding of what I'm, gonna do, what I'm asked to do. And, um, you know, it's fun, especially playing around the group of guys we have and, you know, all the playmakers we have. It just makes, you know, playing football fun. And, um, you know, you're playing at a high, very high level, the highest level, and, you know, you're going to play good guys every week. So you just got to prepare yourself. and. That's what I'm trying to do every day. Have you gotten used to this? The, I, you mentioned it before, kind of just it could be anything. Or, mm. or like, you know, like that. Have you, you, that stuff is kind of you've understood that the yelling is just mm. to, to make you better. I mean, yeah, I grew up. My dad was a coach, so I mean, the amount of coaching I've got, you know, I've had a lot worse things said to me than what Art said. So um, <laughs> he said some bad stuff, though, but. Um, <laughs> But um, no, I, I know he expects a lot out of me and I know he has a lot of belief in me and um, you know, I gotta put that belief in myself. And so whenever he makes a critique of me, you know, I just take it, try to improve on the next time I'm doing, try not to make the same mistake. So um, yeah, really, I, ne I never take anything personal with it, what anybody says, so. Did, some, did the dorkiness of Harbaugh in some ways prep you for anything? Uh, he definitely said some, you know, crazy things, but um, you know, my high school coach and my dad have said some, you know, pretty straightforward things to me that I didn't want to hear, but I had to hear it. And so I think that prepared me for it the most. But, you know, I never take anything personal. I know they wouldn't have took it, take me um, in the third round this year if they didn't believe in me. So I take any, you know, possible negative comment, I guess you could say, you know, like it's just a coaching point. I never look at it as a personal shot or anything. I got told I sucked uh, my freshman year of high school. Um, that kind of woke me up, but outside of that, no. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's. I've heard a lot though. I've heard a lot. Yeah, I was just joking. Sometimes guys will say that. No, I just. Yeah. No, I just. I've been around coaches who you know coach me hard, and you know I think it's made me the better player and better person than. So did you suck when you were told that you 
I didn't think I was. I thought I was doing a pretty damn good job, but apparently I wasn't. So, you know, I had to hear that. Was that your dad who told you that? I'm sure my dad said something like that, but uh, I don't know. I've heard I've heard it all. So. What coach told you that? What coach told you about your freshman year? Probably my dad, my high school coach. I've heard from a lot of people. So I mean. No, he just you know tried to give me encouragement. He knows you know there's a lot of you know stress playing in the NFL. You know when something bad goes wrong, you're the worst player in the world, and then when you do something right, you know. You're a pro bowler, and everybody loves you. So, I mean, I, my dad understands that, and he, you know, he just tries to encourage me, and um, you know, just tries. To, if he does see something, just tell me, and um, you know, I try to take every bit of coaching I can. So. Oh yeah, way, way, way better. He was my position coach, so I mean, I would deal with him 24 hours out of every day, and it, it'd be rough sometimes, but you know, it made me better. So. Listen, I need like an hour to like not be around you now. Like, was it that? Like that? Or- oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I tell him straight to his face, like you gotta back off. But um, you know, he's my dad, so can't really ask too much. Hey, um, uh, how did the group feel um, after the Jets game? Y'all didn't give up a sack. They had just had seven against Tennessee. Uh, I was a big challenge, y'all. Met, y'all led the challenge. Uh, how did the? I saw y'all out there throwing speed. <laughs> uh, how, how did the group feel after that game? And, and, uh, you know, that front? Yeah, I feel like every week, um, you know, especially with the offensive line, I know um, we're just building confidence and, you know, playing, you know, on the offensive line, you got to, you know, build a cohesiveness and um, a really, you know, tough mindset, you know, that you're playing with those five guys. And um, I don't even think it stops at us five. You know, the whole room kind of has the same mentality for us. And let's just keep trying to get better stacking days for us. And, um, you know, everybody in the room's getting better. You know, I think, you know, finally understanding the offense and, you know, getting five guys on the same page is, you know, a big thing. And so I think, you know, we're starting to you know, build to that and just trying to build, you know, off what we did in the Jets game and try to take it over this week. The combo blocks are coming together better. Yeah, combos, uh, you know, pass protection, um, you know, just communication, I think, you know, is a big thing for us. I know. That's the biggest thing for me being a young guy, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm just not communicating as well just because I'm not used to all that. And, you know, we got some guys like Jake who's been in the league for a while and, you know, he, he talks and that's why I try to grab everything from him, um, try to learn as much as I can from him and Chris and uh, Matt and Caleb and just try to take it all in and figure it out from there. This probably was a hard week to study because Miami jumps in the A-gap and jumps in and out and stuff for you. you, you um, they, they have a lot of stuff you have to get ready for this week. For, yeah, I think uh, it helped us, you know, a lot, you know, just practicing against them, okay. really, you know, feeling what they do. But, you know, they got very talented individuals up front, so, you know, it's always going to be hard in that, you know, case. But um, just trying to adjust, you know, to the difficult things they do on third down and uh, build off that. So trying to hold them at bay and make sure they don't, you know, do anything crazy for us. Thanks, Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you.